ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Thursday, the 8th of January. James Spann here in a couple of calm days, but the big story is an Arctic blast due in here next week. Let's get right to it. A lot to talk about. Skycam shot this morning. There's a look at the Jasper Skycam. Hey, are those Christmas lights still there? Yeah, yeah they'll come down soon, but uh, looks good in the uh, sky. Uh, uh, mostly cloudy, some clouds around this morning. We'll call this day a partly sunny day. There's the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam, kind of focused in on the Black Warrior River there, which you can see below the Hugh Thomas Bridge, which is in flood. The uh, river there should have peaked last night. And, of course, that crest will roll on downstream toward the uh, Selden Lock and Dam and then the Demopolis Lock and Dam. And from Mount Chihaw, you can see those high clouds around this morning as we look off in the distance towards the uh, lights of the city of Munford and Talladega. Cold trough over the east. That's the reason it was so brisk and chilly yesterday. And uh, on the back side of that thing, these little ripples come down, and that squeezes out some uh, sprinkles from time to time. And uh, we note that feature west of Baja, California. And uh, a lot of players are on the field out here. That feature's there. The brutally cold air's up north. In fact, look at temperatures. Uh, you can see up on the Canadian border the uh, cold air beginning to nose in there. But, again, the really cold stuff is back in Alaska and the Northwest Territories. And that'll be due in here next week. And that's our really big weather highlight today, coldest air of the season so far, maybe of the season, period. Now, the QPF chart, this is the rain or precipitation through Monday evening of next week. And this is suggesting rainfall amounts of one half to almost one inch in the band from north of Mobile up to Atlanta, and uh, about a half inch here. I still don't know if it rains that much. All, almost all of that would come on Saturday, as you'll see. Let's look at modeling. This is the 06 ZGFS, valid at noon today. Big trough over the east, northwest flow aloft. You can see some channeled energy there in the trough. And uh, again, that could squeeze out a few sprinkles or flurries over eastern Tennessee, and maybe the northeast corner of Alabama. We didn't mention it. We're just going to call it partly sunny today with a high in the uh, mid-50s. Tomorrow looks good. A sunny day with a high pushing 60 in the afternoon. Saturday, here comes a surface boundary. And I'll admit, it does look a little wetter on this run. Uh, so we mentioned a good chance of showers on Saturday. Certainly nothing like the rain we had earlier this week. And then Sunday, that feature is on by. That looks like a cool, dry day with seasonal conditions. And that would be 50s and 30s. All right, you're ready for next week. Let's see what this run does. Here's a look at Monday. The trough begins to form over the east with a big ridge pumping up over the Alaskan coast up toward the Aleutians. A little Vortmax uh, over south Mississippi, but the air bone dry. Now, Monday, the really cold air is not in here yet. It, it, we've got a high Monday in the 40s. But uh, Tuesday, the bottom ought to drop out. of The trough sharpens up, and uh, down below that, uh, we've got a high Tuesday of 35 in our forecast with a good north wind, and uh, there could be a few flurries with the Arctic blast, but again, I'm not really concerned about that. That's not the story. Uh, the story is what happens at the end of next week, and will the cold air stay in place? We'll go to Wednesday, and the thickness values come up, but remember, uh, this cold air is only a, a few thousand feet deep where we are, and the thickness values will not reflect that. I think Wednesday will be a very cold day, and Wednesday morning, we could easily be down there in the mid-teens. Now, Thursday, here comes the problem, you see. That uh, disturbance that you saw off Baja, that will be sending these little ripples in here. And there comes some light precipitation over North Alabama with a 1,052 millibar high ejecting cold air down through here. And again, that looks awfully icy to me. Not No snow, not thick enough. The cold air is not deep, uh, deep enough for snow, but ice, freezing rain. And then Friday, the whole mess just gets worse as the high drops to the south. It gets even colder. That suggests maybe some snow up in the Tennessee Valley and a nasty icing setup for the uh, north-central part of the state. Am I forecasting that yet? No. Uh, to understand this is seven to eight days away, and obviously... Skill in forecasting winter weather events is limited, as you all know here. But just something to think about. The idea is on the table. We're confident that next week will be very cold. The confidence in that ice storm event, not all that high, but it's a very real possibility. And then on Saturday the 17th, it's all gone. It looks cold. And you know, it still looks cold out there toward the end of the forecast period. Look at January 20th. 
Uh, the vortex over uh, eastern Canada and down below that, that looks cold and snowy. And uh, at the end of the forecast on the 23rd, really the same deal. Uh, the southern branch delivering uh, cold air down through here. And again, that looks like a snowstorm for Dallas and Oklahoma City moving in this direction. And one more graphic. This is the uh, European for next week. This is Wednesday of next week. Just wanted to show you the flood of cold air. Cross-polar flow. This is the 850 millibar level, about 5,000 feet off the ground. And again, that's not going to reflect the true cold air down in here, but it shows you where it's coming from. And uh, just everything looks very cold for next week. And again, concerning the ice, we'll fine-tune that tomorrow and really get into it uh, Monday of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.